This is how to increase the resolution of a photo using AI. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So here I have a photo that is 640 by 960 pixels. And this resolution is okay for a screen, but often not enough for a print. So we need to increase the resolution. So back in the days when I graduated as a graphic designer eight years ago, increasing the resolution of a photo was literally impossible. You would simply have to find another photo if the photo you needed wasn't big enough. Luckily today we have some amazing AI tools that we can use and let's jump right into how to use the AI to enhance the resolution. So here we are on the website letsenhance.io and here we need to click this button that says try for free. Now we simply need to upload our photo to this box. Here we can see the input resolution of the photo. So now let's choose the photo type, which is a photo in this case, and let's go down to width and height to control the resolution. I suggest making the resolution bigger than you need, just in case you need a bigger version later. So something like 4000 pixels will be enough for most projects, unless you're doing huge wall printing. And just keep the height to auto to maintain the correct ratio. And as you can see in the top of the screen, Let's Enhance have automatically set the height to 6000 pixels. And now if you want, you can check Light AI to fix the lighting of the photo, check Tone Enhance to increase the dynamic range of the photo, or check Color Enhance to increase the saturation. When you are ready, click Start Processing. For this tutorial, I have already processed my photos as you can see down here. I have tested the results on two different sizes of photos, a small one and a tiny one. So let's compare the results and see if the input resolution makes a difference. But before we do that, let's quickly talk about the pricing plans. And don't skip ahead, there's a useful tip here. So let's go up to the pricing plans. So as you can see, we have 10 free credits from the beginning, but there is a catch. With these free credits, you'll get a watermark on the left side of the photo. So to get rid of this watermark, we need to buy some credits and these are actually really affordable. If we are going to use the tool a lot, it might make sense to buy a monthly subscription. And the cheapest subscription plan is $9 a month, but it is billed annually. But if we are only using this site for a few photos here and there, you can actually choose Pay As You Go, where you can buy 20 credits for only $9. And this is a one-time payment. As soon as you buy the credits, the watermarks will even be removed from the free credits as well. Even if you have already used the free credits, you can simply download the photos again after you bought the credits and now the watermarks has disappeared. In this way you can test the software before buying anything and if you buy the 20 credits, you will technically get 30 on your first buy. So now let's go back to the photo comparison. So here on the left side we have the original photo that is 640 by 960 pixels. And in the middle, I have enhanced the original photo and made it 4000 by 6000 pixels. And as you can see, the AI has done a very good job. We have a little bit of color loss and maybe the tone enhance would have corrected this, but the sharpness looks really fine even in the small details in the hair. On the far right side, I have enhanced a tiny photo that was only 200 by 300 pixels and made it 4000 by 6000 pixels, just to see how far we can push the software. And as you can tell from this photo, the photo is usable and it has the bigger resolution, but the image quality is really bad. The details are soft and smeared and it just doesn't look good. Therefore, I will suggest enhancing photos that are at least around 500 by 500 pixels to get the best results. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.